Hi guys. In our previous videos, we learned about basic of PLC programming, and made many examples in PLC via using different instructions. If you have not seen our previous videos, then go to our channel. Smart a stranger, and take a look on our videos. When we design a program, we use multiple instructions to perform one logical operation. We choose instructions according to our program requirement. And also it depends on programmer how he made program. Every instruction has different working principle or function. Today we are going to learn about different PLC instructions. The logic or program in a ladder diagram typically flows from left to right. The program can be divided into sections called rungs. Each rung consists of multi-inputs instructions and a single output instruction. So, we can define an instruction as An instruction is a command that we give to machine to perform certain task. Or we can say that an instruction is a piece of our program, that we write to complete a task. All brand of PLC softwares normally have same instructions. There are 100 plus instructions available in PLC programming. If we categorize to understand them, then some of them commonly used instructions are Basic or relay type instructions Time base instructions Counting instructions Math instructions Comparison instructions Data transfer instructions Logical instructions Sequence based instructions Communication instruction In this video we will try to understand the most important and mostly used instructions. Basic or relay type instructions. PLCs perform Boolean logic using basic relay instructions. The three most commonly used basic or relay instructions are Normally open contact Normally closed contact And relay coil Normally open contact is like an open switch when its corresponding physical input is energized or high. Normally open contact becomes close contact. And when input to energized or low. Normally open contact becomes open. Similarly. Normally close contact is like a close switch. When its corresponding physical input is energized or high. Normally close becomes open contact. And when input to energized or low. Normally close again becomes close. And third one is output coil. If all the condition in the rung is fulfilled according to requirement. Then the corresponding bit in the output data memory is set to be high and device energized. Now we will talk about other basic or relay based instructions. Which are. Set reset instruction. Positive and negative transition or falling edge detection and rising edge detection instructions. In the set reset instruction, if the condition of the left link at S input is momentary on, then the corresponding bit in the output data memory is set high, and remains high until our pin is set to high. Now we take a look on the positive or rising edge detection instructions and negative transition instructions or falling edge detection instructions. Different PLCs have different names of these instructions. Some PLCs use these both instructions. Their working concept is roundabout same. So, we merge them and try to give their basic concept. Positive transition instruction. It detects the positive transition of input signal, means if signal state change from low to high, it detects and gives output high for one cycle. Negative transition instruction. Negative transition detects the signal from high to low. Means if signal state change from high to low, it detects. And gives output high for one cycle. Guys these are basic instructions. Which will you see in every software. Remember the concept of these instructions. And try yourself to make simple programs. So guys, let's start to take a deep look on these instructions. We draw them in a PLC program. And try to understand their behavior via using PLC or simulator. 
Open your software. In this video, we will learn about basic instructions. So open BitLogic instructions set. First we check the behavior of normally open and close contacts. Insert to normally open contact. And a coil in one network. Insert one normally close and one normally open contact. And a coil in second network. In third network. To check the behavior of SR flip flop. Insert a normally open contact and a SR flip flop instruction and a coil. Give them tags. We already have defined some tags. Here you are seeing that. Tags starting from IR inputs, start from QR outputs. And starting from MR memory tags. Save the program. Open your software simulator. Download program in PLC or simulator. Program is downloading in PLC. Wait for complete download. Now, we check their behavior. Run the PLC. Monitor on. Here we see that in network 1. Output is not energized. When first button is pressed on in field. His relative tag also becomes high. When we press on second button, his relative tag also becomes high and our output energized. When we press off second button, output to energized. Now in second network. We see our first button is normally closed. And second button is normally open. Since normally close button is reverse of normally open button. That's why it is showing high. When we press on from field it becomes normally open so, keep it in low position. When we press on second button. Output 0 to energized. Now when we press on first button. Output to energized. So guys you see how normally close contact is working. Remember the concept of relay. How its contacts behaves before and after energizing the coil. Ok now move to next designed network. Here we see output is not energized. When S input of SR flip flop detects that input signal is high its output high. And it remains high even input signal becomes low. When its R input detects the high signal. Output Q becomes low. Now we move to check the behavior of P transition and N transition. Insert a P transition and a flip flop in one network. And a negative transition and a SR flip flop in second network. To see their behavior separately. Attach an input tag to first normally open contact. We define both contacts the same address. Copy the tag name and paste it in second contact. Give any memory tag to both both transitions instructions. Attach tags to both flip flops reset pin R. Save the program and download in simulator. Wait until complete download of program. Now run the PLC simulator. And monitor on. Here we see that our input signal is low. When we press button on. P trick instruction detects the rising of signal and gives to SR flip flop and its output Q becomes high. And now we are going to reset our flip flop to check the falling of input signal in next network. Since here we have used the same input signal in both networks. For that when we press off the input signal. Our end trick instruction receives the falling edge of signal and gives high signal to flip flop and its output Q becomes energized. Now we reset the flip flop by pressing on its R pin. Again see when we press on the input signal. Flip flop of network 4 energized. And when we press off the input signal. Flip flop of network 5 energized. Here one flip flop detects the rising edge of signal. And second detects the falling edge of signal. So guys. In this video. First we try to learn them on paper and then we try to learn them via inserting them on programming page. We also check their behavior on simulator. We think. 
now you will be able to play with these instructions. In next video, we will learn about timer instructions. So, for more informative videos, stay on channel. Keep watching our videos. Thanks for watching.